Hey there guys, Z the Wolf here, welcome to my The Witcher S edition playthrough. And this is the first part of the epilogue. So we are getting closer and closer to the end. Welcome, Witcher. Sire. We have several things to discuss. Of course. Stop deliberating, son. We need to put out the fire in this whorehouse. You'll get the princess's hand, and if life has taught me anything, half the kingdom as soon as I'm gone. As for de Aldersburg, we need to be rid of him. The Witcher will slay him. What? Relax, we'll pay you as much as you want. I'm a Witcher, not a hit. All right, 10,000. Isn't that a bit much? Come on, Voltest. The kingdom's worth a lot more than that. Yes, I suppose the boy's right. But you shall take home 8,000. It's a deal. So, we're all agreed. Radovid, your armies must subdue the Order in Redania and in the north of my lands. My armies will embark on a mission of fraternal assistance. I don't want any fucking fraternal assistance. The phrase rubs me the wrong way. You are to smash the Knights of the Order and withdraw. Relax, Voltest. My children will rule this land. I don't intend to destroy it. <clears throat> Forgive me, Your Majesties, but I feel it's time I... One more thing, Witcher. Yes? So, let's talk politics. And don't you dare mention neutrality. Judging by your company, you're already involved. Possibly up to your nose. Sire, your wish is my command. To the average pleb in the street, the Order is fighting my armies, but make no mistake. This is a confrontation between me and the Grand Master. That ambitious fanatic directed all of Salamandra's actions and intentionally provoked the uprising. What do you mean? I thought you'd be interested, sire. Very interested. That makes the Grand Master, him alone, the enemy. Is that clear? As day, the Grand Master, rather than the Order as a whole, is the Kingdom's enemy. And the Order need not be a foe. Led by someone sensible, it could be a friend to the people. It could be loyal to the king. Hear that, Siegfried? I do, and I understand. And I shall do everything to save the order, my king. I knew you could be trusted. After your official investiture, visit me at the palace. We have much to discuss, Grandmaster. You count your wyverns before they hatch. Jacques de Aldersburg is alive and well. Sire, one other matter. Yes? How is Ada feeling? Much better than she was as a strigger, yet she won't be herself again for some time. Witcher, how can I thank you? I'm glad Ada is alive and well. Can you ensure that the Witcher's friends will be the same, sire? Yes, that's something I can promise. Witcher, I wish to know who was behind all this. Dewet transformed the princess. How so? On Salamandra's orders. The bastard! If I could get my hands on him. Those responsible assumed your position would be undermined if the princess wreaked havoc as a Striga. Duet has been punished. I'm glad to hear it. Now go. Vizima is burning, fighting rages. You won't have an easy time of it. People see witchers as monster slayers. Rightly so. Few know we draw greater satisfaction from removing a curse or a spell. Swords are a final resort. As long as there was a chance I could save the princess, I had to try. It was worth it. Raise the hearth and poll taxes by three pence. Are you out of your mind? You okay. must find fun somehow. Okay. I'll gladly listen if you have any better ideas. I shall confiscate the Order's assets. Calm yourself, Voltest. You must raise taxes. There is simply no other way. I can exempt your merchants from paying for... Down the lion. Then bold Voltest utter these words. Virtuous Radovid. What the hell is that? I'm trying to keep a faithful and accurate record of these events. 
He said, stop deliberating, son. We need to put out the fire in this whorehouse. Geralt, you have no sense of poetry. There's the truth of time and the truth of legend. You'll never change. The pen is mightier than the sword, and you'll never change either. Off to save the world again when nobody's asked you. I need to finish something. I understand. Good luck. Okay. Come on, Zifrit. There's fighting everywhere. I'm afraid we're about to get a closer look at the Grand Master's regiments than we ever wanted to. I don't know if I can raise my hand against a Knight of the Order. You may have no choice. They're out to kill. Oh my god. Bastards! Geralt! I knew him. He was still a human a month ago. Shorter than me. Well, you proved better with the sword. Expect to see more of these monsters in Vizima. It's the Greater Brothers. They wouldn't let me near that project. That is an offense to humanity. That it is. Okay, let's keep going. Come inside, it's safer. You're right. <laughs> Vaska. The squirrels and the order. Those dry ones disturb our swamp. Between a rock and a hard place, huh? I had a dream, white-haired one. Your destiny will be fulfilled. I come to tell you. Mistake not the stars with their reflection in a pond's surface. I'll remember that. You here? On an important mission for the king. Praiseworthy. I too wish to offer Foltus my services as an advisor in these difficult times. Sadly, I could not get through burning Vizima. I need to get to the monastery. I have learned much about a phenomenon of interest to you. The wild hunt. Tell me. In folk culture, the king of the wild hunt embodies death. He is the one who takes away souls. He is oft considered as the tool of destiny. Destiny? The wild hunt is an omen of war and tragedy. It has oft been seen recently near Vizima. Beware. I must go. Farewell. Greetings. Prospering dwarf. War can be profitable, if not for the king's taxes, the plague take them. How did you get here? Don't you see? Knights, soldiers, and Skyatel run through the streets, cutting down who they can. I am a traitor to all of them. I see. And all their heads are filled with prophecies, destinies, strange signs, and other nonsense. No one to talk to. Sorry to hear that, but I need to go. Farewell. Good to see you. I see war is to your liking, Vitala. 
I no longer need to hide in the cemetery. It's safer here. I come out at night, find food in the streets. Can't complain. The inhabitants of this home have no objection? They fear me. The little brat comes alone, talks without end. I must go. Farewell. I wonder if I can make any useful potion like swallow. Of course I can't because I lack rabies. Where is Siegfried? There he is. Okay, let's keep going. Go away! There were monsters in the cellar. I'll die anyway. They'll find me. They'll get me. Calm down. How do we get out? Through the window. Thanks. This house have no door. Okay, which window? That one. Look into my eyes, Duan, and you will see your death. I see a blind fanatic about to perish. Silence, traitor. You've delivered death too often. Retribution awaits. You might be able to brainwash young elves with your slogans, but they don't impress me, nor did they impress those you murdered. I was wrong about you. You're not worth talking to. You're a blind, rabid dog biting anything that moves. Someone needs to finish you off. Okay, so it's time to kill Yevin now. Our time is now. Yeah, 
and I was hoping he will drop something useful. Okay, I will save the game and continue in the next part, so see you in the next part.